Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Miriam. I am the creator. I'm a wife, a mom, a student, an entrepreneur, and of course a YouTuber. If this is your first time on my channel, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you so much for tuning to this page. I want to implore you to please click on the subscribe button and leave your comments after watching this video. Today's topic is, mm, and I can't wait to share that topic with you guys today. Oh yeah, show your girl some love and mm, click on the like button. Subscribe and share this video with your friends. So let's go straight. Today we'll be talking about 12 steps to being less miserable. Or, let me put it this way, how to live and be happy. Okay, like, regardless of what is happening around you, you can be happy. So let's go straight to today's tips. But before I proceed, I want to ask a few questions. Are you waiting for your life to be problem-free before you are happy? If you are, you could be waiting forever, like <laughs> forever and ever and ever. And really, <laughs> while it is common for a lot of us, to tell ourselves during the times of stress you know that when i finally have dash or when dash is over then i can be happy the first blank could be when i get a home of my own or a committed relationship or a better job the second blank can be anything from the home repair from the divorce the illness or when i stop drinking or she stops drinking or or just a particular busy time hello the idea that you can't be happy unless and until some condition is met can itself be a huge barrier to happiness. While it is certainly normal to wish that a period of unusual stress is completely over, you know, and I get it, you could be losing a lot of your precious, beautiful life by giving in to excessive misery and unhappiness. I would like to clarify that I am talking about relatively predictable crises of everyday life and not catastrophic events. Dealing with a trauma is different from dealing with stress. And at the same time, I am not suggesting that you fake happy all the way through. But what I'm saying is this, within your challenging context, I am suggesting that you find real happiness, if only for a few minutes at a time. Of course, if you're feeling depressed, suicidal, or out of control or traumatized, please seek help. But guess what? I'm going to be sharing 12 tips on how to live a happier life, how to live a less miserable life. So let's go straight to number one. <laughs> number one, recognize the unhappiness that you are experiencing. Okay. Research indicates that acknowledging or accepting your negative feelings will paradoxically increase your well-being. Accepting negative feelings such as disappointment, anger, sadness will also reduce stress. You know, while it is not clear, you know, why acceptance of negative feelings is such a potent strategy, you know, previous research has shown that labeling negative feelings, you know, saying I'm feeling resentful or this is sadness, you know, etc. It will shift your feelings from the emotional part of your brain to the thinking part of your brain. Once it's on board, you can put your feelings in perspective. Number two, offer yourself some compassion. Yes, so one thing is, when you talk to yourself kindly, you know, um, pretty much talking kindly to yourself, you know, could bring moments of comfort, you know, and you may not really have many people in your life who will give you that empathy, you know, that you need at the moment. Good, the good thing is you have one person who can do that and that person is you. Yes, you have to give yourself a high level of empathy. So my tip number three is this. Give yourself permission to be happy whenever it's possible, you know tell yourself you don't need to feel guilty you don't need to feel guilty for wanting those moments of relief happiness and joy in your life number four experiencing pleasing and healthy distractions oh yes once you give yourself permission to be happy you better allow those great moments you know take a walk take a cup of coffee a chat with your friend a visit to the park music books and films that can provide both escape and contentment. Remind yourself that it is okay to have fun, even though a part of your life may be falling apart. Number five, hold tightly to your self-care program. Or start one if you don't already have one. Exercise, eat right, get connected to the right friends. By the way, have you seen my video on how to, to know if you're in the right circle of friends? I think you should go watch it like straight up. <laughs> I will leave the link in the description below. So please don't forget to catch it right away. 
And another thing you can do is get plenty of sleep because your brain needs to relax from all of the stress and all the negativity that you're probably experiencing. Now, resist the false friends of over drinking, in overeating, and the couch potato life. Wow, I did not say that one. No. <laughs> So let's go straight to tip number six. You know, seek out creative and meaningful activities. Pour your feelings into a hobby or into a creative activity. Also, writing in your journal now can help you focus and can even be therapeutic, you know? So it's, it's also a therapy, honestly, if you ask me, according to some studies. So let's go straight to tip number eight, which is compartmentalize. If the source of your unhappiness is work, Put your work struggles in the work compartment of the brain. Leave them there so that when you are home, you can enjoy your, your home life. You know, I remember when I was working in the bank and when there's so much stress, you know, back at work, you know, when my, when my bosses are stressing my life out, like when they're literally, you know, breaking my head. When I get home, I just close every, every chapter that has got to do with the bank. I close those, that chapter. And I go home and I start a new life at home. Like, man, this life, I can't keep myself. Oh, hey, allow me to flex. So oh, this life, I can't keep myself. Oh. And that is the truth. <laughs> so, look, taking a mental break from your troubles can help you to envision new solutions. And that takes us straight to tip number eight. Realize that everything changes. Look, the truth is, Events change and feelings change. However you feel now, you are less likely to feel the same way in the future. You are likely to feel differently in the future. Let these two shall pass become your next motto. Hey, this life, I can't keep myself, ain't it me? Right, so let's go straight to tip number nine. Change one small aspect of your situation. I do it all the time. Is there a way to make even a tiny change that will improve your life? Do one thing different then take another action that will help you and add another and another and another before you know it you're focused on something else that is positive that is lifting your spirit and you stop to think less of your worries which is the truth speak up one so let's go straight to tip number 10 Tip number 10, ask for help. You may think you're admitting to defeat, you know, by asking for help. Um, but the truth is, is, you need to reframe this destructive idea. Um, admit that you are the CEO of your life because you are and delegate responsibilities to others. Oh, yes. Use the time to gain self-care, you know, have fun and engage in meaningful activities. Find a therapist who can be your ally and sounding board. In fact, Click on my videos and you will be happy. I can assure you. If I cannot assure, if I can't assure you of anything else, <laughs> I assure you when you watch my videos, your, your spirits will be lifted. Oh my lifting is straight up. <laughs> you have no choice. It is chances in the building. Yo, what are we talking about? Da. So let's go straight to tip number 11, which is help others. Yeah. I know it sounds odd. I know it sounds odd to help others when you yourself you're in need of help. Research shows that. Helping people makes you happier. Yes, so helping others makes you happier amongst other benefits. You may also realize that your, your situation could be worse. Yes, because it could. Leave your comments and let me know your thoughts on this video. I'll see you again in my next video. Hmm. You take me, I'll see you.